number one, 99% of people, they get their kicked, not because they don't know the word business well, because their personal life sucks. And my wife goes, you're limiting beliefs. You're one dimensional, Andy. Who the told you you can only make money, but you can't have a bad marriage. You can't be a bad you know, parent. You can't be in great shape. Like who told you that? Well, Man. Why do you think, why do you think the, the, the world has gotten like so coddling to people? Like, cause the fact that there are people that would rather see you, I mean, I, I kind of know the answer, but I think they'd rather see you do not as good as you could because where they're at. Yeah. But like, that's on like a massive scale now. Like, yeah. it's just like, it seems like people like do really want to see you do good when you're not doing good. And then as you start to do good, they're like, oh no, I want to, I want to see him do bad now. He's doing too good or she's doing too good or whatever it is. Yeah. It's it's because people put boundaries on you, man. Like, listen, like, let's say, listen, the, your biggest supporters are going to be people that you haven't met yet. Yeah. They're, they're not even going to be in your life right now. And I'm going to tell you why. If I knew you and I would be like, oh, dude, I know who he is. And so I put a label around you. I put a box around you and I put boundaries on you. I do. And I put them on me too, but I put them on you. And when you go outside those boundaries, I don't like that. Because you have a picture about how you think I should be. Yeah. And you're not growing it. And then I don't like that. And so anyways, when I see you trying to take risks. That but that know, is in relationship to the person's self. Yeah. And, but then it's also like the God of this generation is comfort. And so if I'm pursuing comfort and I see you going for uncomfortable, like I'm going to try to pull you back. And so like, but the, wouldn't you say that that's because of like, if it's you in this case, it's because of your own, I'm not pursuing it as much as that person is. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's a limiting belief, right? I have it. And then, so I have it for you. And by the way, listen, if somebody ever tells you, this is the truth. If somebody ever tells you that you, you're not capable or you, you can't do it, number one, it could be partly them. They don't have the belief, but number two, there could be some truth. Your ego could be so sensitive, right? That you're a little baby and you're a little and if you went to do something hard, they figured you'd probably get your ass kicked and then get hurt. So they're trying to stop you. Dude, you're a savage. So people should be telling you, if you're like, yeah, I'm going to go build this thing. They're like, yeah, you are. Dude, you're to the point now when you say you're going to go do something, you probably don't have a lot of people saying, oh, you're not going to oh, do yeah, that. Oh yeah, not now. No, no way. now they're like, yeah, yeah, you are. I can't wait to see it. You know why? Because you've given them evidence that like, watch me, mother. I'm going to go do this. So. Perfect. So to the kid or to the person who hasn't given enough evidence to people in their life, they're all going to hate. You're just going to have to be a part of it. And by the way, like uh, you're, uh, you watch a lot of fighters. I don't watch a lot of fights, but like, I'm like, my guys are all, they love fighting and I, and I love it too, but I've just always been in business, but like Conor McGregor, he's like, it, you know, and it's fuel. It, it feeds me. It motivates me. I mean, you know, if I was to ask you what, what makes you fueled me telling you, man, Bradley, dude, you're, you're so great, man. You're awesome. You know, or like, dude, you're not going to do that. You're well, nothing, it's funny. Bro. I look back on a lot of the stuff that I'd done, like weird viral videos. It was always the best things were always when people were like, yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I was or, like, oh, I'm going to try it then. Yeah. When, when someone tells you, you can't do something. Like I'll never forget specifically Nadim. I love this guy. He's a great guy, but we were filming this video and I was filming this squatting on like a hoverboard with like 315 or whatever, when the hoverboard was uh -huh. And uh, I was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, nah, it's because I've always done kind of crazy, stupid. Shit. And he was like, nah, I think this one's a really bad Dude, idea. Crazy, and I was right? like, this is, I'm doing this today. <laughs> I have to Did do this. Do yeah. And it went viral and all that. She was on ESPN and shit. it was crazy. You're but crazy. it was one of those things where I, I literally remember that moment. And he's a good person. He's not a bad person by any means. No, he's he not didn't even, want you to get hurt, man. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He's like, yeah. I don't think this is smart. And I was like, then I have to do it. Yeah. What if and, I pull it <laughs> off? Like, Dude, this is what I always tell people, man, as crazy as that is, you may not be where you are today had you not done that. Well, yeah, I mean, everything stacks to, to everything else. That's what else, I'm saying. Like, sure. dude, that could have been the thing that made that one relationship, that made that other one, that made these things happen. All the dots align, man. God gives us these opportunities, and we either say yes or no. Yeah. And at the end of the day, man, you train every day. You train your mind. You train physically. You train your marriage, your relationship. You train your team, your company. To, give, to be stress tested. How do you find balance though? Because I've, I've always struggled with the relationship side of things. Like historically, like so terrible. So, so here's the deal, man. Like for real. And I want to say like the reason why I I'll, we'll get into this for a minute because number one, 99% of people, they get their kicked. Not because they don't know the word business well. Because their personal life 
sucks, okay? Yeah. And it didn't start out sucking. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. It started out good. And then they wanted to get in this business, you know, I'm going to become an entrepreneur and all this. Shit. And they go do all this. And then all of a sudden it takes everything you have. That's the law of success to make it and win. You have to become obsessed. You have to lose your mind to this, this craft. And then what happens is we learn, our family learns to live without us essentially because we're trying to win so big. And if you are great at business and I'm great at business, but you don't have a good healthy home and I do, I'll beat your it's because you're going to burn out eventually. And I'll beat you, especially long game, which everything is long game. You may beat me short game, but long game, I'll beat you. And, and so, so, how, so what's the fix? You got to take your family with you. Look, I got my 13-year-old son right here with me. You know why? Because my greatest responsibility is my son. He's, it's my son, bro. Like he's, he's me. If I don't take care of him, I shouldn't get to take care of anyone else. Not yeah. one single human. I have to take care of me first and I take care of me for him, for my two daughters and for, and for my wife. I can't, listen, my team, they'll all, if you ask them, if you, and I mean this, I have an unrecruitable team. And when you say, what does that mean? That means that if you walked up to one of my guys on my team and you said, I'll pay you 10 times what Andy's paying you once you come work for me, they'd be like, Fuck you. They don't work for money. And you say like, what do you mean? Well, me and Jackie realized, dude, that like we wanted to build something that was different than anything else. And so all these broken people, we've never had love. Dude, honestly, I thought about why I wanted to get in shape. It was truly so I would love myself more. And so Jackie would love me more. And then honestly, I felt like I just, I can't operate when I don't take care of myself anymore. Like I just have to look in the mirror and like me. And I'm not good to anyone else if I don't like me. Um, also from a perspective of like my team. So they look up to me because I take care of myself physically. My, 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 my wife and my family. Dude, I take such good care of my team. I mean, my family. My wife, me and her, we're affectionate, hands locked everywhere we go, and it's no fake. Me and her, when we're, there's not something right, we fight immediately. Fighting is good. <laughs> no, no, it is good. It's good, but you got to fight fair, and you can't. And what does fair mean? It means you can't get historical. We have rules. Like you can't bring up something from the past. It's got to be about this. Number two, we got to hear each other out, right? And dude, like most people never learn how to really build a relationship. Also, the biggest fights that we have are because I'm not present. It's the truth. Like I'm not present. And so like, if you can fix this, if, if you're just, and so there's a term we, we say, be where your feet are. And, and Jackie explained this to me. And this is, this is going to make really good sense. And if someone gives you the play, if you run it, you score. If you don't run it, you don't score. So here's the play. You just have to be where your feet are. It goes like this. I mean, being present. Yep. So it's, it's the, it's the greatest skill on planet earth. If there was one skill, I would say the art of communication would be the greatest skill to make you money, but the greatest skill to have a rich life Getting rich, communicate. Having a rich life is going to be the art of being where your feet are. So I don't care how many hours you work a day. doesn't matter. When you're there, you f*** it up. The second you leave, where are you going? To the gym? Good. That's a sacred place. No f texts, no calls, no emails. Phone down. F*** it up. Gym. Home. You're with who? Wife, kids, girlfriend. Dude, f*** it up. It's so hard to stay true to sometimes. But you know what's hard? It's not staying true to it and being successful and having a f an unfulfilled life, having a hole in your heart. And dude, I want you to think about something. You, you fucking motivate all these people. You got all these people around the world that you motivate, you inspire, you know, that say you changed my life. I know they tell you this. Dude, your greatest responsibility, your mom. And dude, think about it. How often do you motivate your mom, your girlfriend? How often do you call them? I'm going to tell you, imagine your mom call you today and be like, man, I watch Andy Elliott. He fires me up. You're like, that's my job. That's my job to bring good <laughs> to my mom. And here I am doing all this for all these other people. So my wife says something. And this is why she's super direct. She's always like, who are you trying to please? You know, like what's most important to you? Like if you got sick today, right, Bradley, if you got sick, just for real, like who would be there? 
And you'd say, well, my mom. Okay, cool. Well, she's number one there. So like each day there's a bucket for you to make sure they're taken care of. Yeah. And, and, and dude, when you take care of that bucket, dude, you feel on fire, bro. Nobody can with you when you're taking care of that. And those people are getting your best. And by the way, you can give the world your best and give it to them. So I used to say this, it's an excuse. I used to say, well, isn't that hard? And my wife goes, you're limiting beliefs. You're one dimensional, Andy. Who the f told you you can only make money, but you can't have a bad marriage. You can't be a bad you know, parent. You can't be in great shape. Like who told you that? I didn't tell you that. Okay, like someone sold you on that. And it's a lie. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast. And I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.